All right, today I'm changing the automatic transmission fluid in my 2002 Mitsubishi Lancer fixer upper piece of junk car. <laughs> so, um, what you're going to need to do this job is a drain pan, a 24 millimeter or 15 16 socket. 15 16 fits perfectly, but the actual size is 14 mil. I don't have a, a metric one that big, but 15 16 fits good. Six point is ideal, 12 point will work too. You need the online consensus seems to be like five to six quarts come out when you do this, so one gallon is four quarts, so this is going to be more than I'm going to need of automatic transmission fluid. The actual type of transmission fluid that it calls for is Mitsubishi Diamond 3, I think is what it's called, but that's like ten dollars a quart and it, it, it doesn't need that like anything that says basically that that it's Dexron 3 compatible Dextron 3 is, is what it needs that'll be fine for this car so this this stuff says it's like multi vehicle type previously serviced by Dextron 3 or Mercon so that'll be fine you don't need that you don't need that special Mitsubishi stuff it's the same stuff so first step you're gonna come over here um, actually first step I should say is drive the car around run it through all the gears run it through low and two and three and reverse and drive in all the gears drive it around in each gear for a little bit I like to move the shifter around in sort of like a random pattern like go from reverse to two to three to low to drive to park like I don't know if that helps but a long time ago I read you're supposed to do that and that's what I've always done works pretty good then you know you park the car um, you I'm, I've never done it before in this car. I'm going to attempt to do it without jacking the car up and without taking the wheel off. It looks like there's enough clearance in there. Um, if I end up having to jack it up and taking the wheel off, then I'll do that. But it, it looks it looks possible just the car can sit on the ground like this and I can get, get that uh, fluid draining. So that's pretty cool. So the first thing you're going to want to do... Oh, I should have said also you're going to need a funnel, a relatively small funnel in order to fit down in here. This is the filler slash dipstick. It says ATF on it. It's down here, sort of near your battery, right down here. So you can go ahead and pull that out. Make sure it's clean before you pull it out. No dirt gets in there. Put that somewhere clean. It says here what type you're supposed to use. It says Mitsubishi Genuine ATF SP3 is what it says, but I read online it was called Diamond or something like that. I don't know. But basically, you want to remove that dipstick because that lets air into the system, so it's going to help it drain out quicker and drain out more completely. Then we're going to take our drain pan, stick our drain pan over here, sort of where the driver's side wheel is. That's where the drain bolt is. I'll get down under here and show you the drain bolt. So, over here is your transmission. It's got like this, you know, round piece on it. Back there, you can see the control arm and all that stuff. The drain bolt. It's the big 24 millimeter guy right here. That's the bolt. I can tell by the condition of it, it's never been changed. And this car has 144,000 miles on it, so yeah, it's probably overdue. But I'm going to go ahead and get the socket, loosen that off, and the transmission fluid will start to drain. Well, I cracked the drain bolt loose. It really wasn't that tight at all, which is cool. So now I'm going to go ahead and loosen it off all the way, start the draining. I think there's a magnet on here. It's going to be hot. Not the magnet, but just the bolt. All right, it's trickling. And now I'm going to have to let it just fall into the pan. I'll fish it out later. I don't want to burn myself. There she go. Oh man, that is just shooting everywhere. What a mess. Good thing this is in my parking lot. Looks decent. You know, it's supposed to be like red. It looks like a 
a little bit darker color but it still smells good doesn't smell burnt or nothing car shifts and drives good by the way pretty pretty decent amount of miles on it but you know shifts fine so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and let that finish draining then we're gonna go ahead and reinsert the drain bolt so here's what all came out it looks pretty dark and disgusting now <laughs> on second thought and it's a, a lot more than five to six quarts I would say that's closer to ten quarts the actual Mitsubishi service manual for this car says it's between five to six quarts that comes out it's more than that I don't know if it's overfilled or what um, it was at the full mark on the dipstick but I mean not much over that but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and uh, properly dispose of this oil also here's the drain bolt got a good amount of um, metal on there I don't know if I could if it's gonna focus on it but little little fuzz on there not too bad not excessive I'm gonna go ahead and clean that off with a rag get all the metal off of there then I'm gonna put that back in the car well I got the drain bolt cleaned up good got all the metal off the magnet part now I'm gonna reinsert it back into the transmission down under here there's the hole right there make sure there's no grime around the hole so you're gonna get a good seal and put it back in tighten her up and the torque spec on this is 32 newton meters or foot pounds or that's pretty useless actually if I don't even know but but just you know not super tight doesn't have to be tight at all I mean I'd say about that's hand tight right there about like that a little bit more that'll be fine it's not gonna come loose or whatever so and if you go too tight you might damage the washer or whatever so next we're gonna fill it with the transmission fluid got my funnel already in there so um, whatever came out that's a gallon right there four quarts and it's filled up all the way and then there's like a little bit left so I guess it, it really could be six quarts honestly so I'm gonna start off with like five quarts in there check the level and then um, well I'll fill it up and I'll, I'll get to showing you how to check the level in a minute all right now I'm gonna add the first gallon of fluid I guess I was going a little too fast. Anyway, you get the idea. I'm going to tip this whole thing in there, and then maybe one more quart, and then I'm going to show you how to check the level on it. Okay, I've added between five and six quarts to the transmission. I've taken the funnel out. Now I'm going to take my dipstick, which I've cleaned really good, and we're going to put it back. In the hole. Make sure it's pushed in all the way. And then I'm going to show you how to check the level. So, oh crap. Oh crap, it's the cops. Oh crap. Oh crap, it's the cops. It's the cops. They don't let me do all my transmission fluid. Oh crap. Okay, so. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and start it up. And what we're going to do is just run it through all the gears. They're going to give me a hard time, I know. So, put it in reverse. Low. Two. Three. Drive. Neutral. Back to reverse. Park. Down to three. Two. And just like a random order.
Now what I'm going to do is, when these cops go away, I'm going <laughs> to close the, the hood and just take her out for a little drive, maybe, you know, one mile. Try to also incorporate all the gears while I do it, and then I'm going to go under the hood again and check the level. This is how you check the level, with it in park, idling, the engine has to be running. Take your dipstick, make sure your dipstick's nice and clean, no fluid on it. Stick it in there all the way. Give it like one second, pull it out. And then it's going to have a hot and a cold line. I don't know how good you can see, but it's filled up right to the top of the hot line. This engine is hot, so that's right where you want it to be. So that's a perfect level. Go ahead and put it back. And that's it. I don't know what they're doing over there. It's the cops. I don't know. I don't know. Someone called cops on me. They're waiting for backup to arrest Alex for his, his transmission fluid job or what. But anyway, that's about it. So that's how you change the transmission fluid on your Mitsubishi Lancer. Four-speed four automatic, 2002 through 2007.